It's early morning and Hans Udo Lehmann is welcoming his interns. Cousins Yazan and Alsama Al Safi are over from Baghdad to work at his company Heinkel, a power generator manufacturer based in Berlin. The foreign ministry backed program isn't just about business. The two interns are also here to pick up the language and learn about German culture. It's a lot to digest in three months. But today they're focused on how to deploy an emergency generator. They have high expectations of Germany and its business world. Uh, one of the most important things that we like German products is the quality. Uh, and we need this quality and, and, and this and in our situation right now because uh, uh, we need to, to rebuild uh, such a huge thing to, to uh, need a good quality, for example, made in Germany. This is the main concept of the project, which is that we will, uh, 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 we will try to apply this experience in rebuilding our country, which we really need us for that, because uh, Everything. I don't. I can't say everything, but almost many things are damaged, and we are lacking many facilities that are important to live. Heinkel jumped okay. at the chance to take part in the foreign ministry program. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Managing director Axel Kraft recommended the two young engineers himself. He knows how important personal contacts are in doing business in the Arab world. We're in our third generation of doing business in Iraq. Naturally, business operations come to a complete stop during a war. But we've been getting a good flow of orders from Iraq for some time now. They need everything over there, and our products are selling well. Three wars have laid waste to Iraq, and its needs are immense. The country's vast oil deposits have been luring foreign investors. But every week, dozens of people lose their lives in attacks, like this one in Baghdad earlier this week. The foreign ministry's program is designed as a safe way of channeling German expertise into Iraq. We hope to see a network develop over the coming years between participants and German companies so that together we can make a contribution towards reconstructing Iraq that would also contribute to stabilizing Iraq, which is an important political aim. At the halfway point, all 18 interns get a chance to polish up their small talk with politicians and business leaders. They're making progress. They can all speak some German and know the basics of the country's culture. That's thanks to a two-month crash course at the Goethe Institute, where cultural exchange, rather than business, takes center stage. Working the way we do here doesn't have to do with aggressive business policies. Instead, it's a way of getting to know and value each other. I think that helps business much more than a more aggressive approach. Yazan and Osama have explored as much as they can in Germany. German rail operator Deutsche Bahn might even rebuild Iraq's rail network. Talks with the government are underway. The interns like the idea. We saw a lot of uh, interesting things uh, in Germany, but uh, one uh, of the most important, uh, interesting thing here, uh, I can say the public transportation. On a smaller scale, Heinkel also wants to do more business with Iraq, but security remains a problem. Project manager Hans Udo Lehmann knows that from experience. On his last visit, he had to wear a bulletproof vest. Some companies work there amid very tight security. Big corporations with lots of money to invest can do that. But it's not feasible for smaller companies. We can't afford costs of thousands of dollars a day. Our order books can't sustain that. But thanks to the internship program, Heinkel will now have two active contacts on the ground in Iraq. Right now, Yazan and Osama are finding out how the emergency power generator they looked at this morning is installed for a client on site.
The program's been such a success that other German firms are lining up to take part. Yozan and Osama are also pleased with their experience. They've forged strong business contacts and they've gotten to know Germany and its people better too. That's what we saw about the German people, that they don't accept uh, friendship in early stages. They need some time to build uh, hard, strong connections with the people to be their friends. These two engineers have definitely forged friendships, not just with their host company, but with Germany and its capital, Berlin.